Yeah. Why has there never been an investigation for child pornography of the Kinsey Institute? They have admitted that they have child pornography. The, one of the former directors of the Kinsey Institute, June Reinisch, said that some of the child pornography that they have, the films, are so awful that she can't stand looking at them, okay? So yeah, the, um, that's one of the things I think that, that we need to really fight to take place. They've, they have admitted the possession of child pornography. That means they, they, and we know they have lists of some of the offenders. We know that. Yes. So what's happened to all the victims? Ah, good question. Yes. What happened to the victims? Well, okay. When I first saw this material, the first thing I did was to write to the Kinsey Institute. Oh, I was so naive. <laughs> I was so naive. I was so liberal. <laughs> oh, yeah, those were the days. Anyway. Oh, dear. So I wrote right away, and I said, good heavens, I said. Um... What happened to all these children? Uh, what was the follow-up? You know, here I am becoming a scientist. I mean, you're supposed to have follow-up. So you had all these children. What was the follow-up on the children? And the director of the Kinsey Institute at the time, Paul, Paul Gebhardt, poor darling, wrote and answered. And he said, well, he said there wasn't really any follow-up. He said it was too expensive. Or um, he said, uh, you know, we, we, just didn't, we just didn't do it. And he also added, because I, I asked him, I said, what were the methods used to get these kinds of data from these children? And he said, well, oral and digital techniques were used on the children, is what he said. Well, it turned out when we did the Yorkshire television and they were interviewed, there, it wasn't just that either. Uh, and they were uh, they were sodomizing these these children. No question about that. They can, that came out loud and clear. Uh, so we have enormous amount of data uh, that cannot be debated that could go into any court of law. That that if we get our congressional, we we almost got a congressional investigation in 1995. We had 59, 51 co-signers in at, at the federal level, um, and then we had an, uh, a. a um, election and everything kind of fell apart but we did almost have it was 1995 and we could certainly resurrect that i had it on my slides but decided i was going over time and one of my buddies said you gotta stop this there are 280 slides here so I, okay so um yeah so they claim there was no follow-up well to a certain and, and we have victims who've come forward we have victims who've come forward. We have one woman who came forward, and she's on one of the one of the uh, interviews. And uh, her father had worked with Kinsey. Uh, she uh, and her grandfather had been part of part of the abuse uh, group. And uh, she came forward. And we have a, a young man who came forward. He's not young anymore. Um, but the issue really is that since these diaries are being sent today. Uh, people are still sent, uh, writing their sex acts and sending them into the Kinsey Institute. They're still doing that. Uh, in 2004, the librarian admitted that, that they're still, people are still helping science. Hmm? And so that means that there is a record of ongoing crimes, ongoing offenders, uh, so that if we did a, slapped an injunction on those guys and we could get in there and start collecting some of those data, then we would have an opportunity to, to find out. Uh, now, they did say that they would burn the records, of course. And, and, and I did try to sue the Kinsey Institute. They libeled and slandered me. And so I got to get in there and get some of the documentation for a while and then lost all my money and couldn't continue. My, my nonprofit said this is just too nonprofity, and um, <laughs> so we couldn't continue. But, uh, but, all, but we have a lot of, of verifiable, you know, good, solid documents so that we could, and I have argued for a long time, if you were able to show the American public where so much of this has come from, that you would really have an opportunity to turn things around to a great extent, uh, which is why they stopped the original investigation that was supposed to happen in 1954 with the Reese Committee. You know, 
but yeah, they refused. And, and I do think, by the way, excuse me, anyway, I do, they did claim they did follow up on all their subjects. So if they followed up on all their subjects, they had to have followed up on some of those kids. And I can tell you right now, if those kids had turned out to be presidents of this bank and to be highly reputable people here and highly reputable, we would know about it. If those abused children had not ended up suicidal, alcoholic, uh, murderers and whatnot, we would sure know about that from the Kinsey Institute. So since they refuse to give that information, we know they're hiding that information. Yes? I noticed that uh, one of the things you had in your slides was showing um, you know, instances of child pornography in, in Playboy and Hustle. Yes, and those, sort of yes. Things. And how recently those have been sort of taken out, it seems like, or at least it's, it's less common. Yes. And I think that, um, I can't speak for the rest of the nation, but I know that I've had the opportunity to, to work uh, in a local prosecutor's office that started an initiative specifically for child sex offenders and against um, child pornography. Um, for the entire Central Virginia area, and we've actually had a lot of success in identifying some of these people. And um, specifically in Virginia, the child pornography laws are very harsh. And in fact, we were able to get um, a, an offender recently to plead guilty to uh, hundreds of offenses of child pornography, which were kept on his computer. And he's gone. Uh, he uh, he was sentenced to I think over 15 years in jail. So, you know, that's a beginning. But it's a beginning. It, it is. I think maybe shows that maybe yeah. the trend isn't so linear. You know. Well. Yeah, what's happened is we've had so many more children raped, murdered, mutilated. One of the things I, points I wanted to make was that not only has rape, quote unquote, of children increased, but the, the, the type. Because now we're, you know, you're looking at children being raped with objects, as you would know, right? We never heard of such a thing in the old days. Uh, you're talking about gang rapes. You're talking about... Uh, you know, bad, nasty, awful stuff, which you know, uh, on top of the rape of the child. Um, and you're talking about forcing children to do things with other children and, and with animals. and also, the, That's the nature. The nature of the brutality has gotten so horrific that, yes, there's, there now is some kind of an alert black backlash, but that's only because... It has gone so beyond any human, human uh, comprehension that people are saying, wait a minute, this is really not, you know, acceptable. So, so that has happened. But I can tell you this, um, we're dealing with another huge problem, too, and that is that as you, pornography is an addiction. Yeah, no question about that. And impotence, by the way. Pornography will trigger impotence. There's not even, I mean, that's global research. Global, even France, you know. <laughs> and Italy, and Italy, yeah, even they, I mean, they, they're disturbed enough that they're reporting it, you know, <laughs> they're saying, hey, our young guys, they can't function here, you know, and they have these lovely ladies, and, you know, it doesn't work, um, and, and they've zeroed it in on big surprise <laughs> that when you look at those pictures, that in a very short, I used to, I used to lecture to guys and I'd say, now, if you're going to look at pornography, I can tell you right now, the definition of potency is with your own power. The definition of impotence is without your own power. So if you need a picture, you're impotent. If you need a storyline, you're impotent. You've handed your masculinity, you've handed your power over to some guy over there who's doing the little, with the, with the you know, the, the puppet thing, Yeah. So, um, and, and of course, then that enriches big pharmaceuticals no end, but Viagra doesn't work, you know, for any length of time anyway, so there's all kinds of backlash on that. The other thing about all pornography is homosexual. Playboy is a homosexual production, and I've done some fascinating research on that from a scientific point of view. When you do an analysis of the variables, from, uh, from abortion to uh, bestiality to zoophilia on a 50 matrix, you find that there's a complete agreement between playboy and homosexuality and a complete disagreement with biblical injunctions about those things. The only difference is in the particular selection of a, of a 
object <laughs> at that time. And that doesn't even matter because that's tossed out anyway. So, so all these things confuse men, confuse boys, certainly as more boy. you know, this is more and more boys. But what I was going to say about the abuse issue is as we've done this, we're increasing incestuous abuse in the household. Uh, when pornography is in the household, you're increasing uh, juvenile abuse of younger children. And what happens? You know, mom and dad find out. I mean, I've got the emails coming in all the time. Mom and dad find out. And, and I mean, I had one recently. It was a homeschool, you know, uh, family. And uh, they just found out that, that, well, they didn't just find out, but they found out that the, the son who was 13 was molesting the little girl for a year, at least a year and a half. They didn't know what to do. Um, he had been gone across the street and been looking at stuff over there. And so he came back home, and this was happening. So the, the, they didn't know what to do. They went to therapy, and, and that wasn't what they turned. They thought, well, we'll, we'll tell the police. Maybe, you know, maybe that'll help. Well, the boy's a registered sex offender now. That, that's, you know, that's the way things are rolling. So while it's important to give those, those, uh, those, those, um, Years, I would say life, you know, life, because all the data are very clear. People are getting out. They're going to repeat that. They're going to repeat that. So uh, whether, whether you know about it soon enough or not, they'll repeat it. Um, so until people understand how they've been manipulated. When I was, work, I, when I was with the FBI, um, I was in Quantico the headquarters, FBI headquarters in Quantico. At the time, they were selling, by the way, Playboy and Penthouse, but they stopped after, I, after my speech. <laughs> Ooh. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, when I was there, the head of, of the Quantico FBI, uh, Roger DePew, it was the behavioral science unit, which had just really begun back in the 80s, um, yeah, it was back in the 80s. And uh, they were just doing the profiling and that kind of thing. And Roger DePew, I gave my presentation, which wasn't this. It was a porn, pre you know, the development over time, uh, how Playboy did it, uh, what followed from that. And it was, it, that's, that was the whole presentation. And when I finished, uh, DePew uh, asked me to come back and do a piece for the FBI to record it. And so I did. He came in the morning, and it's, it was, he said to me, he said, I want you to know what I did last night. He said, I went home, and I called my boys together. He said, round the table, and I got the guys together, and I said, guys, we've been had, you know? <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. I have a lot of stories like that. Time for one more question. Yes. I'm just wondering what I can here, but as far as, like, my church was he taxes to New York schools, and I've heard recently that nine-year-olds will even be trained of the pleasures of sex, I think, through the Planned Parenthood group. Is there a way I could file a complaint or something to that, where even if you homeschool, you're, you're held to that unless you opt out in some way? So I find that offensive when I see all this, knowing it probably links to Kinsey. What would you recommend? You're the lawyer. Yeah, I, I'm not a lawyer. You want to head to New York with me? I, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I, I look to a, a major lawsuit myself. Yeah. Uh, I believe that, that there's got to be, and I've got all the ammunition, a major lawsuit against Planned Parenthood, against NEA, you know, against the big guys. Uh, and, and a lawsuit that's based upon the fact that, that the data are clear. They are acting exactly as the FBI has defined uh, the the grooming activity of a pederast, a pedophile. Absolutely, no question about that. Yeah, you need to understand too. The National Educa Education Association has partnered with groups like Glisten, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, that are providing, uh, suggesting the reading materials you saw. Some of it uh, uh, portraying children as young as uh, kindergarten, first grade, having sexual orgies in bathrooms, and this is. This is a reading for that the that Glisten is recommending uh, the, for children in public schools, and mm -hmm. the the way to approach this is uh, with the National Education Association behind these type of curricula. There's there's really not a lot you can do. There's strength in numbers though, 
And it all has to be handled at the local level. And if one parent goes and complains, a lot of times administrators are just kind of brush them off. And you're the when, first person who came. Right. But when a group of parents <laughs> get together and when they start writing letters to the editor and, and holding rallies outside in front of the school and saying, get this trash out of our schools, you're corrupting the minds of our children, uh, then that's how we affect change, starting, starting with you and me. It's amazing what one person can do. And then as in, uh, there's even more strength in numbers. I agree and I disagree. Yes, I agree. You know, local, yeah. But to me, as far as I'm concerned, until we mount a major lawsuit, a major lawsuit for violating these, for, for sexual abuse of our children and all the brain data support it. Yeah, no, I, and I agree with that too. Good. I, but for, for, what, for, what, for what parents can do. Yes, yeah, that's good. Uh, absolutely. Well, again, Dr. Reisman, thank you so much. Let's have another hand for Dr. Reisman.